my channel. Today, you've seen the thumbnail and I hope it looks good. But today we're making Umbridge's quill and obviously, as you saw, I want to put it in a display box. This, if you saw me make Rita Skeeter's quill, I did say Umbridge's quill that I'm making, didn't I? Yeah, well, I'm making Umbridge's quill. If you saw, I made Rita Skeeter's quill a couple of months ago and I used um, a Geek Gear wand box. I recycled it. Sorry, Geek Gear. And obviously the replica for Rita Skeeter's quill came, comes in a green box and it has a green bow around it. So obviously that's what I did to finish Rita Skeeter's quill. Well, Umbridge's quill comes on a stand, but I kind of wanted to give it a box again. So we've got a box and we're just gonna, just gonna go with it. And I'm gonna keep this, this, because I've already put the feather in that I'm going to make into a quill in this and um, you know, it kind of fits nicely because I don't really want to take it out because with the Rita Skeeter one I did green velvet inside but I could keep the black so I might just keep the black but the box is going to be pink. You'll see as I go on anyway guys. But if you'd like to see how I make Umbridge's quill, you will not need any ink, you won't need any ink should I say, then keep on watching and if this is the first time you're seeing my face, hello and welcome to my channel. If you love anything to do with Harry Potter, this is the place for you. Hit that subscribe button because I'd love to have you. Massive thank you to these guys. These guys are my Patreons. They help me keep this channel running and be able to do things like I'm doing today. They really do help just that little bit more. If you'd like to know anything about Patreon, it's linked in the description of this video along with my social medias. Go see what I'm up to on those. Let's make this evil quill. So the plan is, I'm gonna put a reference photo of Umbridge's quill. Obviously, I'm not gonna get an exact replica, but I want to try my best. So the plan is, and all thanks to Ricky from Witchcraft and Wizardry Boutique. Oh, by the way, this video is sponsored by Witchcraft and Wizardry Boutique. Seriously, go check them out. I am gonna link their website and their Instagram in the description of this video from handmade potions, so unique potions, unique ones, handmade, hand carved ones. They have got something new coming, which I don't know if I can reveal just yet, but um, it's really exciting. I can see you're excited too, I can see your little faces. But if you've got Instagram, like I said, I'm gonna link Instagram in the description of this video for Witchcraft and Wizardry Boutique. Go give them a follow, go give, keep an eye on what they've got coming. Truly is amazing, there's some very exciting things coming. And if you don't have Instagram, don't panic. I'm also gonna link their website, go check them out. I recently did an unboxing about a month ago, maybe a month and a half ago, I can't quite remember. I'll link that video up there. Go check that box out. There are other unboxings that I have done for Witchcraft and Wizardry Boutique before, so go have a little look through my channel and find those videos if you want to. But seriously, you will get the gist of what they do. And yeah, they're truly an amazing little business. Thank you very much Witchcraft and Wizardry Boutique for sponsoring this video, but guys, let's get back to the quilt. As I was saying, Ricky from Witchcraft and Wizardry Boutique gave me the idea. I said I'd set some beads out, obviously they're gonna need to be painted black, obviously you've seen the reference photo, and I said I'm not quite sure because the beads don't thread on, because that's quite thick, they don't thread on. So then Ricky came up with the idea of snipping this off, gluing the beads together and having them on there, and then the tip of that glue at the bottom of the beads and then I can stick this still on the tip down here. So thank you, Ricky. My brain was foggy that day, obviously, um, and I couldn't think, so it was nice to have an extra brain. So what I'm gonna do, I think we should cut it, I'm just not the camera, I'm sorry. I'm gonna cut it about there, I think. There, we'll cut it there. Oh, wow, oh gosh. There, we did it. So we're left with this, and obviously this. This will glue nicely, obviously. That's the top, I think. But yeah, so let's let's have a quick look. Let's have a quick look. I need to cut a bit more off there, so just ignore that. And then we're gonna have this one down here. Yes, obviously this is gonna be painted black, and then we're gonna have, obviously, this glued on to, oh, it fell off. You get the gist. So yeah, I'm quite excited about this. So I am now going to warm my hot glue gun up and we're going to get this glue together and then we'll paint it and hopefully it looks good. Okay, so there is that bit. So now I need to hot glue this bit onto here and then hot glue the tip onto here 
and put this on oh obviously onto the tip of there we're going to put the quill piece um and then paint it black but this is looking really nice just to tell you i obviously hot glued each bead to it and then i just added a bit of hot glue round the edge as well just to give it a little bit of extra strength i do think it's still quite fragile but it's not as fragile but yeah it's coming along fine start them beads look so funny so basically what I did was obviously I hot glued the feather to the top of the beads and the tip of the feather back onto the beads down here but I did also make it stronger and once it was on just do a layer of glue round again and then obviously you saw me just hot glue this to the tip there so this is looking cool but it's not looking very dark and umbridge is it? Because these beads are too colourful, so we're going to paint these beads black now. quilt guys I'm, I've nailed this it really does look like it if I do say so myself but now I need to wait for this to dry because we have actually finished the quilt so I've got a mug to the side so I'm just gonna stick this quilt just obviously feather side into the cup and it's just hanging nicely over to dry so now we can move on to the box while we're waiting so what I want to do I'm so excited about this bit. I'm going to have to take this bit out for now and we're going to paint the whole box pink. Now, I don't have pink paint, but that's fine. That's fine. What do we do? What do we do when we don't have pink? What mixes? What mixes? Make pink, red and white. So I'm now going to make a nice pink colour. I kind of want it a bright pink. It's not going to be just pink as well. I'm going to actually sponge a bit of black on it as well just to because I don't want it pink and pretty. But look what I have, guys. I've got a pink bow with what looks to be cat's paw prints on. How cool is that? So that's gonna go on the top as well. But yeah, I just need to paint this whole thing pink. Right, I've got my pink. I literally just coat them pink. That's it. That's it, we're just coating both these pink. the first coat on both the boxes and it's dry and you won't believe it but it's been a, it's been a while it took ages to dry so I'm hoping the second coat dries a lot quicker but it definitely needs a second coat second coat on it's looking very umbrage hopefully this coat won't take that long to dry like the first coat and um, looking at it it looks like it might take just as long um but this is what I have this for even with this on the first coat, it wasn't massively working. But I'm gonna have a little break and then I'll get the hair dry on it and dry what's left. And then we're just gonna make it look a bit darker because it's too much of a pretty pink for Umbridge. I know she has a pretty pink, but this is an evil quill. This is drying really nicely as well. Look at it against the pink. This is so Umbridge. I am so pleased with this, it's unbelievable. This quill's amazing if I do say so myself. Yeah, I'm gonna have a break now. And then I'll be back with you when this quill box is dry. Okay guys, it is dry. It actually looks more red on the camera than it actually is. But you are going to see proper pictures of this whole beauty with the quill. Obviously um, at the end, as I do in all my DIYs. Anyway, so what I need to do now, like I said, it's a bit pink. It's a bit too pink. It looks red. It is, I promise it's pink. I'm gonna pour, I've actually got a bit of black left over from when I painted the quill. So with some black, I'm just gonna sponge some black on this box just to give it sort of a, 
I don't know what I'm trying to achieve, but I'm hoping you understand. Like a, not dirty, but she's evil. I don't want pure pink. We're gonna have a bit of black to match her black heart. So yeah, let's get some black sponged on this. I know I've put a bit too much black on the end there. This doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. It's fine. We don't want it completely even. Oh, we've missed a bit here. There we go. So yeah, that's one. So off camera, I'm just going to sponge black on the next one. And then I think what I'm going to do... Do I mod podge that? No, we're not going to mod podge it. I'm scared that... No, we're not going to mod podge it. I don't know why I said I'm scared. I'm not scared. But we're not mod podging it. So yeah, just off camera, I'm just going to do the same process on this side, half of the box that I did to this one. And then I'm going to have to throw the bow out on the lid. But I think <clears throat> this bow is going to look quite cool. It's so on bridge. All cat paws, you know. Yeah. These are dry, which is awesome. And they definitely look a bit darker now. So that's the base, obviously. So we want to put this back in here, like so. So that's that done. So I'm going to put that to the side. What I want to do now, oh, also I made this. I made this because it's cool. So it says you won't need any ink. And this, obviously the quill will go in there. And I'm just going to stick that on there. I just think it would look really cool. So now I kind of want to try and make a bow. I mean, I've got boys, right? And I don't wear bows myself. So I'm, I don't think I'm very good at doing bows. I've never had a chance to practice. So, oh, what am I doing? But what I want to do is I want to tie a nice bow in the middle here, but then I'll flip it over, snip and glue the ends into the lid. I'll show you what I'm doing anyway. I can't even begin to tell you how hard that was for me to do. I'm actually quite embarrassed, but I need to go get my scissors because I stupidly put them away. But we have a bow, it's not perfect. I know it's not perfect, but like I said, I'm no good at bows. But what I'm gonna do now, I'm literally just gonna snip these ends off and then I'm gonna flip this over. And where we've got this here, I'm gonna snip it and glue it with my hot glue gun just inside there. And then you're going to see some photos of it and I'll be back with you at the end to talk about it. won't need any ink oh I know you've just seen pictures but just look I'm so proud of this hang on I'm so proud of it it actually does look like a witch's quill I've winged another DIY I love how the pink I'm glad I did pink I nearly painted the box black but I'm glad I painted it pink and sponged black on it. I just think it's it looks more umbridge -y. This looks umbridge -y. And then obviously the little the little bow. Don't laugh at my bow. I'm so rubbish at bows. But I've done a bow, okay? It's a bow. But yeah, I'm really pleased with the bow in the sense of not how it quite looks because of how I've done it. But the paw prints on it. It's just so umbridge. And I'm just... Oh, I love it. And yeah... I love it. I absolutely love it. 
I've actually made myself speechless. I'm really proud of this DIY. What do you think? Let me know in the comments. Has anybody ever made Umbridge's quill before? Do you think I did a good job of the replica of Umbridge's quill? Talk to me in the comments. But I'm really proud of that. But I hope you're enjoying. This is obviously episode two of the Halloween series. I really hope you're enjoying it. I'm absolutely loving it. Um, next Saturday's once I've got it planned out, I'll be more excited because I'm a little bit worried. But I am really excited about it. But I need to plan it out a bit more. Again, though, I'm really excited. But yeah, please give this video a massive thumbs up if you enjoyed it because it helps me more than you know. And I will speak to you all in my next video. Bye, Potter Puppets.